Hey students, uh, welcome to part two of the mixture of problems. Um, you can uh, click on the link below here to go to part one. This is the second part. Uh, let's take a look at this question. Uh, number two says, a chemist mixes 10 liters of 20% acid solution with 4 liters of 10% acid solution. What is the concentration of the mixture? Okay. Alright, uh, so um, let's go ahead and, and uh, do the problem. Let's go question mark. So what is the concentration of the mixture? So to get started with mixture problems, I, like, I normally like to identify my ingredients in the mixture. And then I can use that to formulate the table and then from a table to um, an uh, equation. All right, so let's look at our ingredients. What are we mixing together to get our, our mixture? So uh, ingredients. Uh, what are our ingredients? Um, we're mixing a 20% acid solution and a 10% acid solution. So we're mixing a 20% acid solution and a 10% acid solution. All right, these are the two things we're mixing. And um, our mixture or product, mixture or product is basically a, uh, what are we, what is it? So it's a, it's a solution with a certain concentration, but it says, what is the concentration? So I don't know what the concentration is, so we're going to see it's an X percent acid solution. All right, we don't know what the solution is. I like to name my mixture and ingredients with the concentration. Okay, so we are mixing ingredients, 20% acid and 10% acid to generate a product with X percent acid solution because X is what we're looking for, which is the concentration of the mixture. All right. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and create our table just as we did in example one. Um, this is how I like to create my tables. Um, just draw it for you. We're going to have three uh, columns. And then I'm going to populate my uh, the left side of my column with some information in a minute. All right. So we have something like this. Put that there. All right. So um, on the top of my column, I'm going to call it, I'm basically going to call it um, the amount. Amount. I like the amount first. In this case, the amount is in liters, and then this is a concentration, concentration, uh, and then this is a total. Okay, concentration. I'm kind of out of space, so I can't really see it in there. Amount, concentration, and total. All right, and then on the left side of my table, I'm going to put my ingredients, two ingredients first, and then my uh, I'm going to put my um my mixture product last, okay? So my ingredient number one is the 20% acid solution. 20% acid solution. Uh, so how do I express it? The amount of the 20% acid solution is 10 liters. So 10 liters of the 20%. What is 20% in decimal form? 20% in decimal form is uh, 20 over 100 which is 0 0.2. Okay, so the concentration is 0 0.2. And then the total is going to be 10 times 0.2. All right. And next uh, ingredient is a 10% acid solution. Uh, the amount of 10% acid solution is 4 liters and the concentration is 10. So 10% in decimal form is 10 over 100, which is 0 0.1. Okay. The concentration is 0 0.1, so we're going to have the total is going to be the product of the amount and the concentration, which is 4 times uh, 0 0.1, okay? So 4 times 0 0.1. All right, and uh, last but not the least, well, let's label these two. These two that I just populated on my, on my uh, chart. These are the ingredients. Okay, these are the ingredients. Ingredients. 
And then the last but not the least is the mixture, which is the X percent acid solution. So the amount, um, I can just add these two. Remember, you can add the only two columns you can add are the amount and total. You cannot add this. So let me put a line here so we don't get confused. Remember, never add the concentration. Okay, so that's why I like to put a line here. I put it dash, dash, dash. Never add the concentration. All right, uh, so the amount is just 10 plus 4, uh, which is going to be 14. And then the concentration, you can add it. What is the concentration of my final product? Um, this uh, X, I don't know what it is, so we're going to call it X in decimal form, okay? So know that our answer is going to be in decimal form, and then later on we're going to have to convert it into percentage. All right, and then the total is going to be um, 14, 14 times x, all right? Okay, now to generate our equation, what we're going to do is we're going to add the totals, okay? Remember, you can add, you can add the amount and the total, but you can add the concentration. So I'm going to add this together, all right? I'm going to add the first plus the, the first ingredient plus the second ingredient is going to be equal to the mixture right here. Okay, the product. So this plus this should give me that. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to have uh, 10 times 0.2 plus 4 times 0.1 equals 14 times x. All right. Let's go ahead and solve this. Um, if we multiply 0 0.2 times 10, we're going to have 2. 0.4 times 1 is going to be uh, 0.4 equals 14x. All right? So we add this side, we have 2.4 equals 14x. All right? And then to get x by itself, we divide both sides by 14. Divide by 14, left and right. Divide by 14, divide by 14. Using the reflective property of equality, I have x equals 2.4 over 14. Let's do that in my calculator. So, uh, 2.4 divided by 14. We get 0 0.17. So, if we round it up, we can just see this called 0.17 to two decimal places. It's roughly going to be 0 0.17. Approximately 0 0.17. So, that's going to be the concentration concentration is going to be you move your decimal point back two places one two which is 17 percent okay so um we can write a sentence to see what our answer means um the mixture the mixture will yield a concentration I mean, we use a solution. We use a solution. A solution that is uh, seventeen percent acid. It's basically an approximation. It's about seventeen percent acid. So that is what the question is asking for. What is the concentration of the mixture? The concentration of the mixture is about seventeen. Uh, percent acid okay all right so uh thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video um you can feel free uh to subscribe to this um channel by clicking up here our uh, collection of clips can be found on myvirserve.com you can also feel free to share the contents of this video with your friends uh, via facebook or twitter thanks again and have a wonderful day